five six says solve this. So since we've got addition, we can combine this into one log. But first, I got to put the power up. So I'm going to have log base two of x minus one to the third times four equals five. But I'm looking at that and I'm saying, I think there's an easier way to do this because this is just, to what power do I take two to get two? That is just two. So instead of putting this together like this, which would be messy, I'm going to subtract two from both sides and I'm going to get three log base two of x minus one equals subtract two from both sides, I get three, divide, divide both sides by three and I get x minus one log base two of x minus one equals one. And now the unknown is in the single log, so I'm going to change it to a power. So this says two to the one is x minus one. Add one to both sides and I get x equals three. And I should always check and make sure this works. Three minus one is two, and I can do that. In fact, that would be, to what power did I take two to get two? That'd be one. So I'd have three times one plus two, which is five. So it checks. 20. So now, I, this is not simple, and this is not simple, so I'm going to just do this subtraction changes to division, log, and this is base 10 because there's no base given, of 2x over x minus 3 equals 1. The unknowns are in the log, so I'm going to rewrite as a power. 10 to the 1 is this. 10 to the 1 is 2x over x minus 3. Multiply both sides by x minus 3, which I have to watch out now for. I can't let x equal 3, but this says I can't let x equal 3 also because you can't have log of 0. These cancel, and I get 10x minus 30 equals 2x. And so if I subtract 2x and add 30 to both sides and divide by 8, so I get x equals 30 over 8, which is, um, let's see, 2 goes in there, 15 over 4, which is 3.75, I believe or three and three quarters. 25. These are added, so I multiply the insides and I get a single log of x times x plus two equals four. So I have a log with the unknowns in the log, so I change it to power, e to the fourth equals x squared plus 2x. This is a quadratic, so I have to move e to the fourth the other side, and I get 0 equals x squared plus 2x plus e to the fourth. Now, don't confuse this as a variable. This is a constant. So that's going to be an ugly number, so that calls for pulling out the quadratic formula. See if I got it in here. There it is. And A is 1, and B is 2, and C is E to the 4th. And it gives me... No. Oh! That's supposed to be minus E to the 4th. I have to subtract e to the 4th from both sides. 
I made a mistake there. It gave me eyes, and I knew this one wasn't eyes. So I got to do this again, and it's one, two, and negative e to the fourth, which is six point four four six and negative eight point four six are the two possibilities but I can't use a negative so X must equal just the positive six and that works in both of them so should work okay 30 again we're going to put this together this is going to be log base 4 since it's subtract we'll divide x squared minus 9 over x plus 3 equals 3. This is a little messy, but this numerator factors to x plus 3 and x minus 3. So the x plus 3 is cancel. So I really have log base 4 of x minus 3 equals 3. X is unknown in here. I got a single log, nothing in front, so I can go to the power equation. 4 to the third equals x minus 3. And 4 to the third is 64. And so if I add 3 both sides, I get x equals 67. And 67 should work in this one, doesn't make a negative, and doesn't make a negative there, so it should check. 40, got this equation to solve. Now I could change each one of these to the same base, but since there's no power on this, I can just divide the point 3 into the point 2. So I'm going to have 4 to the 0.2x equals... 0.2 divided by 0.3, which is another name for two-thirds. Multiplying numerator and denominator by 10. All right, now I have the unknown as a power, so we write rewrite as a log equation. So we go to, to what power do we take 4 to get two-thirds, and that is 0.02x. Now when we have this, uh, we're going to divide by 0 0.02, divide by 0 0.02, but when we have a base that's not in our calculator, we're going to go to um, the change of base rule, which says log of two-thirds divided by log of four, and then all of that is divided by 0 0.02 and we get for an answer log of 2 divided by 3 divided by log of 4 and that divided by 0 0.02 should be our answer and that's a makes x be a negative 14.62. Can we use negative in this? And there's no problem with having a negative exponent, so that should be our answer. Okay. 45 and 5.6. Now I have two dissimilar bases so now I need to get to common base. So I'm going to write these in, uh, most of you like base 10. So I'm going to write 10 to the log of 1.2 to the x, which again get times this, equals log to the uh, 10 to the log of, of 0.5. That's another name for 0.5 times a negative x and so now I got the same basis so the power's got to be equal I've got x times log of a 1.2 equals negative x log of 0.5 
So I can add logs to both sides and I got x log of 1.2 plus x log of 0.5 equals 0. And so I can pull out the x and I get log 1.2 plus log of 0.5 equals 0 and x times some number, this is not 0, times x making 0, x has to equal 0. If I just divide both sides by this, I get x equals 0. And that's what would make these two equal. Okay, section 5.7. Uh, let's start a new video.